Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of uh, tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now in the last tutorial, we saw how to import data from text files uh, using, uh, using, using the file pointer option and everything. Now in this tutorial, we'll see how to import, uh, we'll see how to import them uh, using numpy arrays. Now there's not a much of a big difference between how to make, how to do this in list and how to do this in numpy arrays. It just it's not a big difference, it's just, uh, just a simple one. Uh, what you have to do is that you just have to set the sizes of the numpy arrays uh, premature, uh, in, well in advance. Well in advance, that's the only thing. Okay, so uh, use the same file object, use the file object uh, to open the files, get the contents using f.read lines, fair enough. And then what you do, set the, uh, you have to set, initialize the values of y and sec and set the values of y second range as numpy arrays with zeros in to begin with to begin with and then set an iterating variable i to be zero and then what you do is that uh, for line and contents start with the same and then use y of i sec of i rain of i equals line dot split and then you increment i so that your iterating variable is incremented fine now that's how we do a board with it. So what can be done is that uh, you can copy all these lines, copy all these lines. Okay, that's about it. And then uh, now this makes y second range to be zero. So if you look at your variable explorer, uh, sec will be fully filled with zero. Okay. And uh, the size is 30,597 corresponding to the number of entries in the file, text file. Text file. And then what you need is that uh, these are set to be 0 and then uh, i is equ i equals 0. We set that. Let's copy this content. Paste it over here. I'm setting i to be 0 and then using this for loop for line and con contents. Okay. And then we use the same uh, line split command that we used last time. We use the li same line split command that we used last time to split the lines. And when we split the lines, we are going to uh, uh, we are going to you know populate them in the y arrays, uh, sec array, and rain array. And uh, to make sure that the indices continue on, I just after this assignment, I'm incrementing the incrementing i. Simple as that. Now if I print enter, we look at uh, sec. Okay, now this is a numpy array with all the values filled from top to bottom, top to bottom and everything. So that's that's taken care of. That's taken care of. So if I print the value of sec and numpy dot shape of everything, everything everything works fine. Now one th important thing is, let me copy all this. Let me run this. So if I were to print them, print sec and print np and uh, stuff. Uh, now your sec will be uh, numpy array which will have a lot of values and will just prints uh, only some entries because it's a, since it's a very large value the compiler prints only a few entries over here and then np dot shape of sec will give you 30,596 with a comma indicating that it's a one dimension array and then f dot close is actually used for closing the file object okay uh, when you run it, uh, if you don't close it, it uh, I mean, if you don't close it, it may have, it may, it may, sometimes it may throw a warning, sometimes it may, you may get a memory issue, and also it's better you close it. So if to close the file object, and you want to file object, you need this option called as F close, and that's about it. Okay, that's that's about it. Now in the next tutorial, what we'll see is that we'll see how to. Uh, that's we don't need this. Now next tutorial we'll see how to. Uh, uh, okay, since we have time, we'll I'll see the remaining thing right right now. Let's see how to write data data uh, writing data to text files. For that, what you need is just like previously, you need a file pointer to open and close the file. Collect the required data that you want. The, collect the required data as a proper string and write them write them one after the other using a specified format or using a format that makes it easy for you. Okay. Now how to do that is simple. Create open a file. Open a file. Okay, with the file name and with the with the access mode W. W stands for writing. And if you want to append an already existing file, use A. 
okay so do that do that and then set i equal 0 i equal 0 and start a for loop start a for loop okay start a for loop and then uh, set value set create a string a very long string called as val which is actually string of uh, which is actually the value of uh, I mean your the value that you have to enter which is which is made into into form of a string using the type typecasting st function str okay now what this str does is that it takes the value uh, y of i and converts that into a string and keeps it as it is and then it does the same option over here keeps it as it is and does the same option over here and keeps it as it is now with these being done now with these being done your values are uh, values are temporarily made into strings and then all of and uh, this tab symbol i mean backslash t is used for creating an escape sequence a tab escape sequence okay and the same thing goes over here so what happened and this addition symbol makes sure that uh, the string value of y of i uh, was present first and then you have a tabbing and then you have the string value of sec i you have a tab and then you have the rain value of ta rain value of i in the form of a string and then instead of a tab you have a new line character and then a new line character so you have all of these you have all of this and this enter this you get a one full fledged string like this and this string is kept in the kept in a variable called as val and now this is the important line once uh, this line ensures that you have a proper formatting and this is the writing line what f f dot write does is that it writes this entire value in the first in the line in the lines of the command the lines of the function and uh, lines of the function and when you do this your function get your program gets written so what i do let me copy uh, enough of me explaining this so let me copy this up let me paste this press enter so your file is open so if you just press f so it opens file op it opens the file drain underscore data 2 dot txt in writing mode okay that's about that now i set i equal 0 and i write this write this okay I copy all this and I paste it over here okay paste it over here and if you look at the val values okay if you look at the val values it's just a one it's just a one dimensional string which has numbers and everything into it it has the numbers in the following order so that's about it and then uh, f dot write val is used for writing it and the i i index just repeats on and on so if i look at uh, rain underscore data 2 look at it there you have it the values are written in a prop in a reasonably proper format okay in a reasonably proper format now that's about now that's about it so suppose if i were to uh, uh, f dot close f dot close is final f dot close will close the file and so if I do that I can delete this file if I want okay I deleted this file and if I were to copy this again and uh, run this again okay you will get the file created again and if you open this your data is ready now this is how you do all the uh, writing fi writing fi options in text files similarly you can do this writing options in uh, excel files as well but that ha that re requires you to use some other different commands but this is the procedure i mean those ca if you know this the writing procedure on those will be more or less similar okay now that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and in the next tutorial we will be seeing as to uh, how to access netcdf files so about that We'll be uh, we'll be seeing how to access data from NetCDF files in the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you guys next time.